Hello students, welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. I am your teacher, Mr. Stanley Umbogo. So uh, dear students, uh, welcome uh, and welcome again to another interesting episode that we have. And uh, in today's uh, lesson, we are going to look at something in grammar uh, that is uh, uh, typical noun uh, derivations. But before we look at uh, uh, that, I want to let you all know what I always do. Uh, that is uh, when I wake up in the morning that is before uh, uh doing anything uh, or engaging in any activity so the first thing that i always do is uh you know to show gratitude that is i uh, thank god for the gift of life because not everyone wakes up alive so it is important to do that uh, so dear students in today's lesson uh, uh and it is our grammar i want us to look at typical noun derivations or what we call uh, uh in common terms the common ways of uh forming common ways of forming nouns so in this uh, lesson we are uh, uh, simply going to look at how nouns are formed remember nouns are naming words that is these are words that are used to name animals uh, you know people places uh, objects things uh, and so on so they are naming words i think that is the uh, uh, the simplest uh, definition uh, and that is the definition that uh, actually all the form ones uh, 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 are given. <laughs> that is uh, uh, in their first uh, grammar lesson in, uh, uh, you know, in in high school or secondary school. So there are there are uh, uh, several ways, dear students, uh, 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 in which are these these nouns uh, that are used to uh, name people, places, things, objects, and animals are formed so uh, we are going to look at how we can uh, form noun from uh, the first category that is by using verbs uh, in the second category we are going to uh, look at how we can uh, uh, derive a noun or form a noun uh, using adjectives and lastly we are also going to look at how a noun can be formed that is by uh, using uh, another noun so when we talk about these uh, different parts of speech uh it simply means that uh, i mean when we talk about uh using these different parts of speech in noun formation or derivation it means that there are uh, uh, uh suffixes that are added to uh, uh, either the verb adjective or uh, uh, that is another noun to help us form uh now a noun so talking about the first uh, category that is uh, der deriving nouns from from verbs this means that we form the nouns that is by uh, adding uh, some suffixes uh, to the verbs uh, uh, and uh, there are a few examples that we have here so the first example we can form a noun by adding the suffix er at the end of the verb or uh, uh, th that is adding the suffix er to the base uh, to the base of the verb so uh, uh, and uh, these uh, again uh, what is important to note is that uh, these rules these, uh, these rules uh, uh, only uh, uh, i mean uh, they can only happen in uh, uh, in, a, in a few in a few uh, uh, verbs but not all the verbs that we have in english language so the rules are there yes but uh, you cannot just you know uh, uh, use them uh, with every verb so like for instance when a verb ends in letter e when a verb ends in letter e we are uh, told that the e is dropped then the suffix er is added at the end uh, to form a noun so uh, an example let us look at uh, you know the verbs uh, let us uh, focus on the verbs that are uh, that are ending uh, in letter e so that's why again i said that these rules uh, of uh, you know noun uh, uh, formation or, or derivations cannot be used by all uh, uh, the, uh, all the words that we have under uh, these uh, different uh, uh, or the various categories of the parts of speech so you'll have only to look for the uh, you know for the specific words or the specific verbs that uh, take this uh, uh, rule for instance looking at uh, the examples that we have so remember uh, the, the the rule uh, 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 says that if a verb ends in uh, letter e so if a word is having is if a word is used as, uh, as a verb if a word is used as a verb and it is having a letter e at the end and we want to use that verb to form a noun 
we are told to drop the last e in that verb for example in dance we have the last uh, the last letter that is e so dropping it means that we omit it so after omitting the last we add the suffix or the ending er and now the noun that is formed is now a dancer dancer so dancer is now a noun that is used to name somebody who dances you see how interesting uh, this is so again we have another example that is uh, we have the verb write write so uh, you know what write uh, means uh, to put something uh, down on a paper using a, a, a ink so if we omit or if we remove the last e in write and add er the noun that uh, will be formed is writer now somebody that is somebody who writes or uh, maybe an author, somebody who writes uh, books, articles, uh, and uh, many other things. Then uh, lastly, there is uh, the verb uh, uh, drive, mm -hmm. uh, to drive. So if we omit the E again in that uh, verb and add the ending ER, the noun that will be formed is a driver. So another, uh, uh, <clears throat> another uh, way in which we can also uh, form nouns or derive nouns from verbs uh, uh, especially uh, for verbs that do not end in letter e remember in the first uh, in the first part uh, we were looking at verbs that have got uh, uh, letter e at the end where we have to uh, drop or omit the, the letter e so there are verbs that do not end in letter e where we just take the suffix er and add it directly at the end to form a noun so examples of uh, uh, such verbs we have a uh, uh, paint for example so uh, paint to paint uh, maybe uh, you use a uh, uh, so in this case a uh, paint is also paint is also a noun remember it is also a noun but again it can be used uh, as a verb that is uh, now to to talk about the action uh, uh, that is of uh, uh, or the act of now using either spray paint or uh, any other type of paint to uh, to decorate uh, the walls so if we add er directly to paint we the noun that is uh, going to be formed there is painter then we also have uh, the verb teach if we directly add the suffix er we uh, form teacher there is also a learn if uh, we add er again the ending uh, we have learner that is also a noun then there is a cook if we add er we have cooker so cooker uh, is not uh, used uh, 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 for persons. Cooker is an object in this case. The cooker that we have in this case is an object. Remember, a person who cooks is called a cook, a cook or a chef, a cook or a chef. But uh, talking about now the object that is used to prepare that uh, 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 that food or whatever is being cooked, uh, we we have a cooker. Uh, that's why we have got the gas cooker the stove uh, cooker and so on so uh another way of forming uh, uh that is uh, nouns uh, uh, by using verbs is uh by adding uh, the suffix ee -E to a verb so uh, this suffix is added to verbs to form nouns with the meaning that one uh, has achieved something for example if we had uh, the, the 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 double e the ending uh, uh, double e uh, to the verb train we have trainee trainee that is uh, someone who is uh, maybe undergoing some uh, some course or uh, some lesson uh, then again there is employee as a verb uh, if we add the ending there we have employee that now again forms uh, a noun one who is employed uh, then there is also trust if we add that there is a trustee then the last word we have escape and uh, the noun formed is uh, escape. So uh, there we have got uh, more examples that uh, also follow uh, other rules apart from uh, the three that we've uh, you know focused on. Uh, for example, there are, I mean uh, there are uh, other suffixes that we can add, or uh, there are other endings that we can add uh, to uh, you know some verbs to form uh, different nouns. Uh, so we have, uh, for, for instance, uh, uh, carriage, arrival, management, sailor, typist, persistence, uh, and separation. So you can look at uh, the uh, suffixes that we have attached or added uh, to the end. 
So uh, another way of uh, forming a noun, uh, dear students, is by using adjectives. So uh, here we are told that to derive a noun uh, from an adjective, uh, we add the following uh, suffixes or we add the following endings to adjectives. So uh, there are adjectives uh, that will take the suffix that is uh, N E double S, uh, ness, as in kindness, goodness, softness, sweetness, laziness, uh, and so on. Uh, so all those nouns. Then uh, uh, there are also, uh, you know, uh, where we add the ending I O N uh, as seen in action. Uh -huh. There is also uh, uh, cases where we add uh, I T Y to an adjective as seen in activity. Uh -huh. Sometimes we add the ending th to some words as seen in uh, strength, length, and remember that uh, for uh, for some words there are there are words that must be omitted or added before uh, uh, coming with the final word that will now form the noun. For example, if you look at strong, uh, we have omitted the o, the vowel uh, o sound, and it is replaced with the e vowel e. So. Uh, before adding the th. So lastly, we can also add ism as seen in, uh, I mean to uh, the base of adjectives uh, or at the end of adjectives as seen, is, uh, as seen uh, sorry, in tribalism and uh, also uh, criticism. So the suffix uh, that is a ship can also be added to other nouns. So this is now uh, the third category. Well, we are talking about forming nouns by uh, using other nouns. So here it means that already we have a noun, but we can also form another noun that is different by adding uh, a given ending. So uh, remember we talked about three categories in noun derivation, that is using verbs, using adjectives. So this is the last bit that is now uh, forming nouns using other nouns. So uh, the suffix ship can also be added to other nouns to form a noun as seen in friend. So friend is a noun. If we have that ending ship, uh, we also form a new noun that is a friendship. There is also honor plus ship, ownership. There is a, a, a also leader a plus ship, leadership, scholar plus a ship, scholarship, etc. So there are a few examples that we have here in sentences that you can attempt uh, as an exercise. Uh, use the correct form of word in brackets to complete the sentences. Use the correct form of the word in brackets to complete the sentences. Your dash to this job has been recognized. Uh -huh. So again, we have a blank uh, uh, of this word is difficult. The word in a bracket is pronounced. Then uh, what is the blank of this table? Then we have a measure. So can you use uh, the word uh, the words that we have in brackets to form uh, nouns that can be used to uh, fill? Uh, the spaces that are uh, there, or maybe we can just, uh, you know, uh, it is not something difficult, we can just do it very fast. So, your commitment to this job has been recognized. So, we've added uh, that is uh, uh, meant uh, the suffix m e n t. Again, uh, pronunciation of this word is difficult. Uh, the pronunciation, the pronunciation of this word is difficult. What is the measurement of this table? What is the measurement of this table? Yeah, so uh, you can also look at other examples in sentences. And uh, as we come to uh, the end of this session, uh, I really want to thank you for uh, keeping it easy, Limo, and also ensuring that you watch uh, till the end. Once again, I'm your teacher, Mr. Stanley Mbogo. Until next time, bye.